prime examples of pillar coral thrive around the island. There's variety to the diving on Guanaja, including many walls, volcanic caverns, pinnacles almost like seamounts, surge channels, and miles of barrier reef. One of the pluses about diving on Guanaja is that the most frequently visited sites are within 15 minutes of the two resorts. Yet one place, Devil's Cauldron, is worth the almost 45-minute boat ride. It's a singular site outside the reef, almost like a seamount where the current moving up from deep water attracts large schools of fish. When we visit Devil's Cauldron, a school of jacks surrounds us. The island of Guanaja is one of the Bay Islands lying off the coast of Honduras. It's just 750 miles from the mainland U.S., two and a half hours from Houston. Temperatures are mild year-round with a brief rainy season in the fall. The local guides are still exploring and finding new sites on Guanaja. Tino Monteroso is a popular and personal dive guide at Posada del Sol who has worked throughout the Bay Islands. What happened here, as you can see, is a small, it's a burial reef there, you know, and as you follow that, that burial reef out, you know, you're going to find a lot of small stuff here, there. The most important area here, I would say, would be in the first 10 feet of water. Tino and the other guides have tamed many fish around the island. At a site called Jim Silverload, we feed barracuda, eels, and groupers. And the black and white crinoids also prosper around Guanaja, perhaps more than anywhere else in the Caribbean. Unlike other islands in the Caribbean, there's the chance around Guanaja to dive through volcanic formations as well as the more typical coral reefs. Black Rock, for example, is a whole labyrinth of caverns and canyons, evidence of the island's volcanic origin. From 6 to 85 feet, there are giant rock fingers, coral-encrusted boulders, and passageways. 